Hey guys, it's Bishozzi here, and welcome back to another episode of my Ajax Dutch Players Only Series Football Manager 2015. As you can see, this will probably be the end, well, it will be the end of this series as we know it. I have been sacked as Ajax Manager. Um, I've lost my job. Basically, if you read it, it says Auspicious has been sacked by Ajax Director Mark Overmars. Aussie's failure to improve squad harmony is the reason f given for his departure. Squad harmony is the reason why I lost my job. They sacked a guy that won the Dutch Cup and the Eredivisie last season because he couldn't improve squad harmony. Basically, what happened is... My players are all miserable because I sold a lot of the players, well, that were close to them, I guess, in the team. But, of course, they didn't have the Dutch nationality that I wanted them to. So, they've all got upset when, when their friends have been transferred to other clubs. Um, not only that, but the certain players in the team have been, you know, getting angry at the fact that um, other teams have been interested in them. And I've, you know, turned down deals or not wanted them to leave the club because I need them as they are some of the best Dutch talents um, in the game. So, um, while I said that I really enjoyed this series, and I have, um, the whole challenge of the series has pretty much gotten the better of me, I have to say. Um, you know, I was doing really well, um, albeit not in the Champions League, but yeah, a double last season, the Dutch Cup and Eredivisie. Um, it's a great start to the series, and, you know, um, I have picked up the, um, picked up some momentum going on from the mid-season review, where we had, you know, lost quite a few games. And I'm going to go into the uh, fixtures now and just give you a little fixture run-through of how we've done since then. And, um, as you can see, I left, well, I left you guys before the Willen 2 game. We have gone undefeated between now and that time. Undefeated, and I've lost my job. I can't understand that. I'm, I'm really angry at it. Like, it's just a massive flaw to this year's game. So, Will and Two, we beat them 2 nil away from home. Pretty, you know, straightforward result. Nice to keep a clean sheet, especially away from home. Kostagnos and Zivkovic both on the score sheet there. Good to see that. Denzel back from his injury, and he picks up man of the match. We then versus Groningen. Zivkovic hat-trick gets us a 3-0 victory there. Again, and another clean sheet. Then, as I mentioned in the previous episode, we faced Fenerbahce, who I said were, you know, arguably the best team in Turkey, and we beat them 2-1 at home in the Europa League. Kishna with a goal, Zivkovic with a goal, and a Kishna own goal. Not only that, but I had two more injuries to pile on to about five injuries and suspensions that I already had. Then, we versed Twente. I mean, a one all draw... At home, not the best result, but if you look at the, what happened during this game, that was a bloody good result. So 1-0 down, then Bazua gets himself sent off. Juarte also gets himself sent off, um, but we get a goal back through a de Guzman penalty to hold on for the one all draw. Pretty good result there, all things considering. We then destroy Fenerbahce 3-0 away from home in Turkey. 3-0. El Ghazi, Kishna, and Bazua on the score sheet there. And then the final game I played was against Go Ahead Eagles. A 1-0 away victory against them as well. Zivkovic on the score sheet again. And I get fired. Before two, maybe three of the most important games in um, probably my career, I'd have to say. Feyenoord, PSV, and then Marseille in the Europa League. And um, yeah, they decided to get rid of me. I just really don't understand that. It's a bit confusing. Anyways, guys, um, I'm going to leave this up to you. Do you guys want me to continue this save and, you know, go on um, an unemployed spell and then try and pick up a, a new job? Or would you guys prefer me to start a new series completely? Um, I'm going to wait a little while with these, well, with a response to this, um, f you know, finale episode of the IRX series. Um, and wait for you guys to drop a few comments and give me a bit of feedback as to what you would like me to do. Um, as you can tell by my voice, I'm quite, you know, disappointed and angry at the fact that this has happened because um, you guys have been enjoying this series probably as much as I have. 
Um, you definitely have as far as feedback and stuff goes. So I'm really sorry about that, and I hope that, you know, something good can come from this piece of shit result that's come from this game that, you know, I didn't really deserve. I, I don't think I deserved it. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think I deserve to be sacked? Because, yeah, I find it very hard to see how I actually got sacked, apart from the squad harmony. So basically, they fired me for not selling the best players of the team. That's basically what's happened. Um, and I just don't understand why a director of football... Well, a director of football, they're always, you know, complete dickheads, but... Um, yeah, why you, why you would do that? I mean, apart from, did they want to make money on these players? Which I guess is kind of a, a thing that Ajax do in real life. Um, but yeah, that's going to end the episode here. Don't forget to drop me a comment as to what you would like me to do going forward from here. And um, yeah, guys, hopefully I'll see you again soon. The Everton series will be continuing. Um, hopefully I don't get sacked on that one as well. But um, yeah, the results are going quite well over there. Um, not the best results in the world, but we're doing alright. So if you haven't watched that series, make sure you go and check it out. It's actually my most, well, my most viewed Football Manager video ever. Well, the first episode is anyway. So that's really cool. Um, and if you are looking for more episodes of Football Manager, uh, why not check out my AS Monaco series from Football Manager 2014. I had an absolutely amazing career over at Monaco. Started off slow, but it got really strong towards the end. And I think I had 50 something, 50 plus episodes of that. So yeah, um, I think we did about 8 or 9 seasons or something like that. It was pretty crazy. So yeah, go and check that out if you are wanting more episodes to watch. Goodbye guys.